If your laptop screen looks like this, then don't despair. It's easy to fix, only takes about 10 minutes, and replacement screens don't cost that much either. I'll show you how to replace the screen yourself at home, coming up. Hello and welcome to another Switched On Network video. I'm Paul FP, and on this channel we cover a range of topics encompassing technology, gadgets, the internet, photography and videography, including DIY repair tutorials like this one. So if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and stick around. So, to replace your broken laptop screen, you'll need a set of precision screwdrivers, a craft knife and a spudger tool like this to help pop off the screen's bezel. I've put purchasing links in the video description for both these items as well as details of where you can get the correct replacement screen for your laptop. Clicking the links in the video description will help out this channel at no extra cost to you, so thank you. The precise procedure does vary very slightly from laptop to laptop, so this video gives you a general overview of the process involved to show how easy it can be. It's always a good idea to type your laptop's model number into the website ifixit.com and check if there's a guide which will tell you exactly which screws need removing from where and what unclips from what on your laptop. On this laptop, which is a Toshiba Chromebook 2, we start by removing the two screws at the bottom of the screen which are underneath these little screw covers. Use the craft knife to gently pop these off, being careful not to scratch the plastic bezel, and set them to one side. Then remove both these screws with the correct size screwdriver and slide your plastic spudger tool into the crack between the front bezel and the back of the display assembly. Carefully slide it all the way along all three sides of the bezel, allowing the plastic to unclip as you go along. Take your time and do it carefully, as the last thing you want is to snap the plastic. Once everything is released, you should be able to lift up the bezel and it freely come away, revealing the bare screen below. If the design of your laptop requires it, you may need to remove the screws holding the hinge mechanism to the back like this, and on this particular laptop, you need to lift these metallic tabs up from around the screw holes. Oddly, the screen in this laptop wasn't screwed down but had adhesive on its back instead, so these screw holes were unused. If this is the case with your laptop, carefully prise the screen away from the back being careful not to damage any cables with any sudden jerky movements. Once it's free, lay it down on the keyboard very carefully like this and turn your focus to the ribbon cable. Some laptops have a separate power connection, but on this one it's all fed from the one cable, so very carefully remove any tape and then disconnect. The new LCD screen you buy using the link in the video description should be well packaged like this, so carefully unwrap it and remove all the packaging to reveal the screen and then carefully lay it down on the keyboard in the same position as the old screen you just removed. Connect up the ribbon cable and add some sellotape to help ensure it doesn't come loose over time. Then gently flip the screen over into place and since this replacement screen does have brackets for the screws, I'm going to screw it in place with some small spare laptop screws I have. I've also put a link to those in the video description, as it's not the sort of thing that most people generally tend to have lying around at home. Then it's just a case of reattaching the hinge mechanism if you have to undo yours, and then it's time for the moment of truth. Press the power button, and if all is well, you should be back in business with a lovely new display. Finally, lower the bezel back into position and snap back into place before replacing the two screws and covering them over with the two screw holes, which you'll definitely not have lost by this point. And that's us finished. If this video has helped you fix your own laptop, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments section below. You can subscribe to the Switched On Network for free by clicking the logo that's on screen now and check out some of our other videos too whilst you're at it. Thanks for watching and supporting this channel and I'll see you in the next video.